Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today's Photoshop Elements quick tip of the day is how to use layers and blending modes to give your photos a little pop or zest. Let's go ahead and give thanks to Quinette over at Flickr. I've used the Creative Commons license here, uh, which you see here, the Creative Commons attribution, just giving a little credit to Quinette and the woman from Cuzco. And I'm using that photo for my tutorial right now. And I'm using that through the Creative Commons license. We have this photo. It's a really beautiful photo. It's got some nice, beautiful, vibrant colors in it. But I just wanted to give this photo just a little more zest or a little more pop in it. So let's hold down the Option key over here. And let's look in my Layers palette. I've got two different blending modes and layers up here. And if I click the Visibility layer, and the option key, it'll put these two layers back visible again. And you can see that the photo here has a little bit more zest, a little bit more pop. It's not just darker, but the photo colors here are just a little more saturated. Let me hold down the option key again and cycle it through a couple times so that you can see the little pop there. Like I said, it's not just dark, but it's also saturating the colors more. Let me go ahead and turn off a couple of these layers. This is my dodge and burn layer. This, it, this, the face is getting a little too dark here. And in this one, this is the one that is actually doing all the magic. Now, if you ever have a photo and you want to give it a little zest or a little pop, let's go ahead and take this back to revert here. You have an original photo like this. We're going to do the Command J or the Control J on your PC. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a layer over your other layer, just a duplicate layer. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the blending mode to multiply right here. We got multiply. Now it's a little bit dark. Uh, we do like the saturated colors, but we're losing some of the details. So I'm going to take the opacity down some until it's looking uh, like it's a nice color. What we're trying to do is get the colors that we want. I like the color in the hat and I like the color in the sweater here. So I'm going to leave it about 70. Now what we need to do is we need to bring some of that detail in the face and then the hands back because that's what we really care about here. So I'm going to create a new layer by going up to my layers palette and going layer, new layer. Now we could do the shift command N or the uh, shift control N, whatever you want to do on the PC. But I go up here to show you where these are at, a new layer, and then I'm going to use this mode of soft light right here. And then it says fill with soft light neutral color, 50% gray. And I'm going to put dodge and burn layer. Now you could do this with the dodge and burn tool, but it doesn't give you the ability to undo things. And let me show you what happens. This puts a neutral gray area above this. And anything that I paint with white is going to make lighter, and anything that I paint with black is going to make darker. So if we don't already have these up here, hit D on your keyboard, and it will put black and white in your foreground and background. And then if you hit X, it'll swap the colors in your palettes. Now we need to go over and get a brush with the brush tool. And then we need to pick a nice brush right here. Nice soft brush right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the brush opacity to 8 because we really don't want to do this too quickly. Then I'm going to make my brush size just a little bit bigger by using the right bracket key. And I'm just going to paint on this layer. Make sure we're on this layer. We're going to paint white. And everywhere where I want a little bit of detail to come back, I'm going to paint right there. Kind of lighten this area up a little bit. Really lighten the eyes up some so you can see the eyes real well. And then anywhere that's a little bit too dark, we could go in there and we could paint with this white brush. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us a nice soft light right in here. So it's bringing some of that back. And we also want to do this to the hands. And what you need to do is you need to let go of the brush every time you want to add a little bit of white color. You click on the brush once, and then we paint. And let's look over here what it's doing. It's adding a little bit of white to our gray overlay. So as I paint, I'm just clicking and painting with the brush, and it's making those areas lighter. So I'm lightening the hands. And then I am lightening the face the best I can here. And there we go. Let's see what we did by cycling the visibility layer. 
there is the original photo as far as our multiplied layer and then there's the one with the overlay which is much better so what we did with this particular photo and what you can do with your photos if you want to add a little zest or pop especially to the color is duplicate the layer with a command or control J set this mode to multiply and then take your opacity down to what you like add a new layer and when we added the new layer we added the little 50 percent neutral gray and we changed it to soft light then we came over with a nice soft brush with the opacity of 8 and we just painted those areas where we wanted it to be lighter. Now we could do the same thing if there was anywhere that we wanted to make a little bit darker we could go in here and we could paint with the black and make it darker. So that's your Photoshop Elements quick tip for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already done so please subscribe to my videos and give me a thumbs up. Cheers!